Hi, my name is Matt and I'm a certified productivity expert. If you want to maximize productivity in your day, you need to remove friction and increase efficiencies. That's why I give myself no more than four minutes to prepare for work. Some people put butter in their coffee because it provides long lasting energy. I cut out the middleman and start my day with a stick of butter. My daily journaling practice is an essential part of my morning routine. I start by using my 37 step micro minute planning process to map out every minute of my day in detail. To the untrained eye, it's tedious, but to a certified productivity expert, it's my intellectual property that allows me to monetize my work in a way that separates myself from the competition. And now that it's 5 p.m., it's time to get to work. Okay, so truth be told, that is not at all what my days look like, but if you're subscribed to this channel, you already know that. While I'm not a certified productivity expert, I am somebody who likes to geek out about productivity and talk about it on this channel and dive into ways that we can be more efficient with our days. And one of the ways that I like to keep it real <laughs> is by showing what my actual days look like. And so in this video, I wanna share a productivity vlog with you. This is what my days actually look like. Uh, I walk you through everything from uh, organizing my to-do list to planning out phone calls and everything in between. And so um, I just want to show you that productivity isn't always what it seems like and you don't always get done what you think you're going to get done. And so let's get into it. So this is how my hair looks when I wake up. No, it does not always look perfect. This is it. So it's just after 5.30 a.m. I usually don't wake up this early. You know, most of the time I'd wake up between six or seven, uh, but Natalie has been waking up around 4 a.m. because she's been working with clients in the United States. Uh, we're currently in Sydney. And so I wake up a little bit early, which is fine because I'm a morning person anyway. So time to start the day. All jokes aside, I do try to make my mornings as easy as possible to build momentum. So I typically prepare my clothes the night before work, and I grind up my coffee the night before so I can start brewing right away. Sounds like you're on an airplane. <laughs> I'm doing a vlog, so say hi to YouTube. What up, YouTube? Mark, so tell people uh, what it's like to, to work with me. Uh, Mark, uh, I have this idea. We need it done tomorrow. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Hashtag slow growth. <laughs> so I've got a really busy day planned today. I have six phone calls scheduled in for the morning. Try to batch all of them uh, for one day. And so it makes for a bit of a crazy day. And so first thing, I got 30 minutes here. So I wanna quickly check my email, see if there's anything urgent in there, go through my to-do list as well as my calendar, just to make sure I'm across everything that's happening today. You can see the entire week from a bird's eye view here in an app that I use called To Do. Uh, so I typically like to keep my to-do lists each day to around three to five. I would say primary items, like the most important tasks for the day. But uh, sometimes on a day like today, there's a bunch of small things that I need to do and I don't wanna forget about them. And so that's why you'll see a list like this that's a little bit longer than normal. Uh, so you can see right at the top, I've got phone calls from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. I've got a little bit of a break in between there. Filming productivity vlog, that's what I'm doing right now. Write newsletter, so I've written this week's newsletter uh, for my personal newsletter, and then I'm gonna write next week's review slow growth newsletter. That's a new little project I've been working on. Review social assets, import productivity vlog, send out trial projects. That's for the people that I'm planning on hiring, just sending them out the test project to see how they do, to see if they can kind of fit within the style that I'm trying to create for slow growth. And then finally, talk about slow growth newsletter in this video. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So over the past three months in secret, I've been working with my team to develop a newsletter. I wanted to make a self-development newsletter that I would subscribe to. And so my standards were insanely high with this thing and I am so proud of what we've been able to create for you. Start your week every Monday with snail mail. In this once a week newsletter, you'll get original articles on self-development and productivity. 
as well as a digest of inspiring articles from around the internet. And yes, it's free. It is, if I do say so myself, really freaking good. I just wanna be able to provide some really great self-development advice. And yeah, I subscribe to it. I think you should too. Go check it out in the description below. But yeah, you can see my day today is really just booked up with lots of um, phone calls. I've got six phone calls today. Um, these phone calls are with slow growth candidates. So I've gone through this crazy process where we got about 2000 plus applications in for some jobs that we're hiring for for slow growth. I'm really trying to build a creative team to help me make really awesome self-development content. And so that's been so much work. <laughs> this has been my life for the past really month or so. Um, last week I got on about 25 phone calls. This week you can see I've got about nine or 10. Um, but it's also a really exciting process. I thought that I would hate this because I'm kind of like, I don't know, I, I work by myself often. I don't do a lot of phone calls. But speaking with other people, it, you know what? It It's good. It's good. It's good for your soul. And it's been great to talk with other creatives and, and people that I've been inspired by. And so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited for today, actually. I think it's going to be great. Hello. Oh, no, I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, no, this is just B-roll. Yeah, sometimes what you have to do is you gotta film B-roll of yourself um, saying anything. So let's talk about productivity for a moment. So the two most productive things that you can do when you look at your to-do list is to select an item and either delete it or delegate it. Deleting it is something that's pretty easy for me. You know, uh, as somebody who's intentional, I, I really like to think through what I'm doing and make sh making sure that I'm not just spinning my wheels or doing something just to do it. Uh, and so that comes naturally to me. But delegating something is something that I haven't done as much of. Now, it's easier for the, the skills that I clearly don't have, whether it's something like design uh, or coding for a website. It's easy for me to hire for those things because I don't know what I'm doing. But when it comes to all the other elements of making a video, I find that in the past, I haven't been really great at delegating it. But I have also found that's really limiting for myself just because when you delegate somebody, when you find somebody who's amazing, who can do the job better than you, uh, let's say it's a video editor or an animator, they make what you're doing better and they also allow you to free up your time. And so being productive is like allocating your time and your resources appropriately. And so that's something that I'm just getting into. I think for the longest time, I've been a little bit hesitant to do it because yes, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I have very high standards for everything that I make, as you might know uh, from watching my channel. And so uh, it's been something I've been hesitant to do, but it's something lately that I've realized I have to do if I want to reach my goals, if I want to create the things that I want to create without burning out. Uh, because I can certainly try to do it all myself, uh, but that's I've tried to do that before and it usually doesn't work out well. And so that's why I'm having all these phone calls. That's why I've been doing all these interviews. That's why I'm building the team at Slow Growth because uh, it's something that I really believe in. And I think if I can pull together the right team members, we can make something amazing together. Uh, and yes, I might even be more productive in the process. So that's kind of where I'm at right now in terms of how I view productivity. Um, deleting something's great. Doing it yourself is okay. Delegating something, that's where it's at. Okay, so for lunch today, I have some delicious leftovers from a local spot in Bondi called The Char. So uh, this right here, some peri-peri sauce. Oh, so good. Is it healthy? I don't care. I'm working hard. I get to reward myself. And right here, I've got some beautiful leftover chicken and some, uh, is it called tahini? Tahini? Is that right? Is it tahini? Thai. Tahini? I don't know how to spell it. No, that's not tahini. F what is that? Tabbouleh? Is it tabbouleh? <laughs> it's tabbouleh. It's tabbouleh? Which, as everybody knows, is traditional in the Arab world. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty cultured. What can I say? I eat tabbouleh. <laughs> 
Okay, real talk for a minute. My wife, Natalie, obviously from Australia, from Sydney originally, she would tell me about the wonders of the Australian chicken shop. I was like, yeah, no, like we've got, we've got chicken shops. Like that's, of course, yeah, we've got chicken. We do roast, we do it. We don't do it <laughs> in America. Like coming to Australia, one of my favorite things are the chicken shops. They're so, the chicken is unreal, the stuffing. You go into one of these chicken shops, they've got like, 40 chickens to, to a vegan. This is gonna sound horrifying to a carnivore like me. This is what I dream about. Oh, uh, they do cheesecakes in cups. It's amazing. Like, I'm like, what is, how come cheesecake hasn't always come in a cup? Where have has this been my whole life? So when I get really busy, I do tend to order out quite a bit. I try to eat as healthy as I can when I order out. This meal is, is relatively healthy. It's not, it's not awful. So right now it's almost one o'clock p.m., which means I have about an hour left of work to do before I wrap up for the day. I know this because I started setting an alarm. And so there's my alarm right there, 2 p.m., stop working with a little love heart emoji. So I started setting this alarm clock because when you're waking up early, you can have a tendency to work until the, the typical time that most people finish up work, around 4 or 5 p.m., maybe 6 p.m. But when you're waking up at 5 a.m., uh, that would mean that you'd be working for 12 plus hours a day, and that's not sustainable. To me, working 12 hours a day consistently would be the fastest way to lead me to burnout. And so what I've started to do, because I am so passionate about my work, I love my work, I've set this alarm clock, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., depending on upon what time I start, and it's a reminder for me to put the laptop down and say, okay, that's it, that's enough for today. I've gotten as far as I possibly could in one day. Let me rest and relax for the rest of my day. Uh, let me show you guys my to-do list uh, to see how I actually did today. Did I get all the things done that I set out to do? Um, I did not get a chance to write the newsletter today. Uh, just one of those things where it's hard to get in a creative mindset to write when I am doing all these phone calls um, and really activating an entirely different part of my brain. I'm probably just gonna push that to th Thursday. That way it's matched up with right YouTube video. I feel like that's, it, like I can get into a state of flow where I write the newsletter, it'll help me kind of get into that flow writing the YouTube video, import productivity vlog footage. That's what I need to do right after I finish shooting this little shot here. And I talked about the slow growth newsletter in this video. If you guys haven't yet subscribed to my new newsletter for slow growth, go check it out. Go to slowgrowth.com slash newsletter or click the link in the description below. It's one of my favorite self-development newsletters that I subscribe to, and I think it's gonna be your favorite as well. So. I think that's it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna import this footage and, and wrap up my day. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I will see you next time. Bye. Whoa.